Hi guys, welcome back to UK Fly Fisher. Today I'm telling you one of my favourite boobies. It's a fly I really use a lot of when it comes to reservoir fishing and using natural flies. I know it's hard to say that you're using natural flies when you're using a booby, but this subtle and more insect type approach really gets me a lot of fish and it kind of equals out my cast. When I'm using big attractor gaudy boobies, you tend to find that on a catch and release fishery, you'll get more takes on the nymphs. Whereas using something like this, you get equal takes throughout the cast, meaning you've got free flies fishing and it's a really handy fly to have in your fly box. So without any further delay, let's have a look how we tie the pheasant tail booby. So the hook in the vise, again, is a short shank special size 10 from Elite Flies. Great booby hook due to the wide gape. And I'm going to be using a 140 UTC in olive. I'm going to come in just behind the eye of the hook. Make my way to about a centimetre back before coming halfway back up. And this is where we're going to tie in the booby eyes. Come in and cut away your excess. Now I get all my booby cord from Fish Teaser Flies on eBay. Great stuff, really good price. Cut that in half. You get two from each one. And then again, I'm just going to round it off with my scissors. Just quickly twisting the booby eye cord and trimming the edge. Get you a really nice finish that fishes really well in the water. Like so. Now I'm going to offer it up halfway along the cord, pull down, turn it on its side, and then figure eight. The reason we use 140 UTC is so that it doesn't cut away at the cord, where single strand materials can slice into it. And then we're just going to put down a layer of tying silk. This is just to keep the tail on top of the fly. So for the tail, I'm going to be using a badger cape. This one is red game. It's a really nice brown color. And I'm gonna take one of them feathers from the back of the cape that you wouldn't normally use. And we're just gonna get rid of all the waste on the feather. And then we've got the usable materials at the front. I'm just gonna stand them up. Now you're looking for about a centimeter and a half with fibers just to pinch away. Group them together between your thumb and finger. And you've got a lovely tail and it, we're going to have this sort of the length from the eyes to the bend in the hook out at the back. Just going to come in here, tie it in. Like so, turn underneath at the end and then a turn back on top and see how that tail sitting, which is perfect. And then come in and snip away all this waste at the front. For the rib of this flight, I'm going to be using an Amber Ultra Wire. This is in the BR. Just going to catch it in on the side. And take it all the way up to behind the eyes. And then for the body, we're going to be using a brown pheasant tail. This is just natural. And you're going to want to pull off about six fibres. And then tie them in at the tips. Come back up to behind the eye and then take this in touch and turns. See, I've got a little hair there, take that off. All the way up the fly. Like I said, you get many attractive boobies, many huge lures. But this for me has been one of my most consistent point flies, especially when fishing a washing line. I'm just going to trap it in there, give it a few tight turns. Come in and step away the waist. Again, you can keep these for a dry fly that I'll show you. And then in an opposite direction, we're just gonna take this ribbon all the way up the fly. So you should get three or four turns till we get just behind the eye, come across the tongue silk, drop it in, two turns in front, one turn behind, two turns in front, one turn behind. Pull your tongue silk tight, bend and break away the wire. Like so and that's coming together really nicely now the last touch which I do is put some glister sparkle dubbing around that head area this is from Vanyards this really adds the extra part to this fly which I think is the reason it catches so many fish it's just got that really natural look it traps air bubbles it gives a little bit of flash off so I'm going to dub this on quite tightly and just open up them eyes pull it between behind open up them eyes pull it between 
and one more time before tying off in the front. Now I've got one or two fibers there that are a tiny bit too long. It doesn't really make a difference, but I'm just gonna snip them a bit shorter, like so, before coming in with my varnish and then whip finishing this fly. As I said, it's an absolutely great point fly. A lot of people overlook this fly. So simple, so deadly. Really worth having in your box all year round. And it's one I'll definitely fish if I'm fishing a team of naturals. Just a proven fish catcher. And that's it, guys. That's the pheasant tail booby. Really simple fly, but one that catches you a lot of fish. And it's perfect for fishing the washing line when you want to fish a team of nymphs. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications icon so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.